In this video, we're going to go over how to integrate your Vera or Vera Lite home automation controller with your 2GIG Go control panel and Alarm.com. The first thing you'll want to remember is that you need to add all of the Z-Wave devices you plan to use directly into the Vera controller. The 2GIG panel cannot be a primary controller in this network, and once it is set as a secondary, it cannot directly learn in the Z-Wave devices. Rather, the Vera will share its Z-Wave device list with the 2GIG panel. You'll want to run your Vera automation controller off of battery power and bring it to within a few feet of any new Z-Wave devices and perform the standard device addition procedure. Once you have all of your Z-Wave devices learned in to the primary controller, you'll then add the 2GIG panel as the secondary controller to the Vera. You'll want to bring the Vera and the 2GIG panel within a few feet of one another to do this. You can put your Vera controller into a standard learn mode by pressing its device add button. Then on your 2GIG panel, access your services menu, select Z-Wave, and select the wrench icon in the bottom right hand corner. Put in your installer code and select advanced toolbox. Finally, choose learn controller. If you're logged into your Vera's network user interface, you can watch as the 2GIG panel is added as a secondary controller. Once the process is complete, you should notice on your 2GIG panel that any lights, locks, or thermostats that are otherwise compatible with a 2GIG panel will be accessible. Once Alarm.com receives your updated equipment list, you'll be able to control all of these devices remotely. This has been Jason with Surety DIY. Thanks for watching.